Hello everyone, welcome to another topic of interview topic simplified. So today we are going to discuss what is a subsequent debit or what is a subsequent credit. Okay, so first let's understand what is a subsequent debit. So let's say you have done the invoice. Okay, and uh, now your vendor is asking you for some more price or some extra prices your vendor is asking, right? So in that case, what will happen? Let's say they are not sending we uh, sending you some extra material for the existing material. They are asking you some extra price. Let's say so they are asking for some loading charges or some. Uh, let's say they are saying that price have been increased, so you have to pay some extra amount to us. So in that case, you will be creating one more document, which is a subsequent debit. So let's say first the invoice has been created. After that, your vendor is asking some more price then you have to create one more document that is called a subsequent debit document in that document you can add some extra price or extra amount to the original invoice you can add something so subsequent debit means add some price to the original invoice without changing the quantity so quantity will not be changed you are adding some price to the original invoice so what is the subsequent credit so similarly it is the opposite of the subsequent debit let's say uh, your vendor have overcharged you your vendor have let's say um, uh, your um, the price was 10 rupees per piece and your vendor uh, send you an invoice of 12 rupees right so in that case you will be reducing the 2 rupees extra right so in that case first the original document has been posted with the extra amount now you want to reduce that amount so for that you can create one more document that is called a subsequent credit memo or subsequent credit document okay so in that case you can reduce some of the amount from the original invoice so that is a subsequent credit right so basically in overall if we see both of the subsequent debit and credit document we can create either to reduce or to add some extra charges or to change the amount of the originally posted document original posted invoice you want to change something you can change it in the subsequent debit or subsequent credit so debit means you want to add some price credit means you want to reduce some of the price okay so i believe this concept is clear to you so that's it for today We'll meet up again on tomorrow with some more topics. Till then, bye-bye and take care.